going to grow at a funny angle now, which is going to be quite interesting to watch. But this is the gardenia. It's quite easy to identify with this sort of whitish colored bark and then these little leaflets that come out in threes around a central stem and so you can ID it from that way unfortunately they're not flowering at the moment they have the most spectacular beautiful little cream white flowers that then turn yellow as they get older and you see them in the spring before the sort of major rains come along now Herbie was telling me a very interesting story about this tree and how they use it with the Sangomas so in this area we have these traditional healers or Sangomas as they're called and they are people that a lot of the community members will go to when they have ailments and he was saying that when they are in training they will use this plant quite a lot and it's basically how it works is that the instructor that is teaching these traditional healers he basically goes and harvests a branch and they look for these branches that are quite close to the tip that have these little sticks protruding off them or little branches coming off them and they basically will go in the very early in the morning every morning and they take it and they put it in water and they rub it like this and it produces a foam and then from there they have to put their hands behind their back and then they go down and they eat that foam and they say that it is a sign of respect but it also connects them and the instructor together so that they can glean more in knowledge and information and be able to then follow in that instructor's footprints which is quite amazing now the reason why i found it quite interesting is because what i know about this plant is that the fruits as well as the leaves can induce vomiting so they use it as a way of cleansing the stomach so particularly if you have intestinal worms of some sort so any of those worms they take this plant and it helps just to cleanse it out and you induce vomiting so i was quite surprised to hear that these guys actually eat the foam and that it doesn't cause vomiting it must be something to do with the water that dilutes that um, chemical that causes the vomiting process so quite interesting it's amazing what you can learn out here so you know it's 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 an incredible thing to be able to combine western world knowledge with the cultural knowledge as well um, Sassy you wondering